I've been very busy making it rain. Styrene dust. Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's week three of the weekly What's on the Bench. I can't believe we've been doing this for three weeks already. It only seems like yesterday that I started. But here we are, week three. I've got some work to do. Speaking of work, a lot of work has transpired on the Ultimate RC RV. The track says Ultimate RC Hauler. Getting a bit of a makeover here, uh, using 3D printed elements, styrene elements, and an existing very long truck, I'm making a giant Earth Roamer style camper slash RV on this platform. And uh, there's been a lot of progress, as you can see. There are body panels now for this camper. There's another one on the other side too, but I'm not moving this around because it is massive and ridiculous. Um, lots of cool stuff happening though. You can see that there is some uh, actual styrene work being done. Windows have been cut out. Templates have been made. Panels have been attached to the actual chassis. Not only are these 3D printed elements working really well at keeping everything nice and rigid, but the actual styrene sheet 060 adds a lot of rigidity to the overall project. It's looking really good. There were also, uh, one of the biggest factors that I wanted to kind of make sure I was doing with this was keeping everything as planned out as possible. So I recreated this entire side panel in Fusion 360 so I could build elements that are going to go on it. I could know where holes needed to be. I could measure everything out and cut once instead of cutting four times. But as you can see, it's starting to look a bit more like an actual earth roamer camper and there's some nice little subtle details nods to actually making this as you know finished as possible i actually built a panel here that contours around the existing rollback sort of rack that's on the back of the existing truck i wanted to hide all of that i wanted it to make it seem as if it's one seamless unit between the cab and the camper so there's no light poking through there you can actually see that it matches the contour and looks pretty clean. Pretty happy with that. Whew. It's a lot, uh, but I'm, I'm really happy with the progress so far. Uh, so, um, in addition to sort of cleaning up some of these elements and making sure everything fit properly, it was also time to start adding some exterior details. And I designed all those because I used the panel as a template I was able to design some elements to go on the exterior once I get done with paint. I did this little uh, bit of uh, fender detail here and designed that in Fusion 360 and added and we'll be adding that after I'm done with painting of this uh, rear portion here but I thought it'd be nice to have some depth and uh, there will be other elements too. Uh, I've also got some window frames here uh, that are going to go on to the exterior as well. I will be adding windows and those will all go on as well. Uh, tinted probably. Uh, there will be a door somewhere here as well. Um, so you can see how it's all going to start coming together. It's, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about the progress that I've made so far on this truck. In only really a week and a half, I'm pretty happy so far. Uh, it's it's looking pretty much like I want it to as well. The next problem that I'm having is space on the bench. This is a beast to work on and I have very small room as you know. Not a lot of bench space and certainly I'm taking up all the squares. So uh, the next video we may have to find a new place to put this maybe behind me. That might be a better spot for it. And I can just turn and go Here's what I've done. Uh, there are a lot of marker lights on the side of the actual um, trailer portion of this truck. I didn't want to lose those. I wanted to use them, but I also didn't want to relocate them. They're already nice and stable where they are. So what I did, I actually went and designed and printed my own little light buckets. And these will go into place on the truck, just like so. And they're in pretty much exactly the same location as the actual marker lights. So 
because that is clear 3D printed filament, the light shining through from the LED will hopefully shine through to that little bit. I thought that was a nice touch and uh, should look pretty cool at night when it's all lit up. Someone in the comments was very helpful and suggested that I add some solar panels to the roof. All the earth roamers I've seen have got solar panels, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add some solar panels. We're gonna add some charging capability to the vehicle. So when you're out for a long crawl in the sun, you can charge your phone. <laughs> it's always good to have cell service. Uh, so there's that to do. We gotta do the roof, add some solar panels. I am gonna go to the trouble of doing some sort of garage door on the back. A nice roll up garage door that's operated via the winch. I think that would be a nice cool little feature to have and something a little bit different that I haven't seen yet on one of these. So that'll be coming up. There will be a lot more design work to do. And uh, I have to admit, uh, I've been doing a lot of tutorials in Fusion 360 to get myself up to speed on some of the things I'm gonna need to do for this project. And uh, there are some excellent tutorials out there on YouTube. Much like you might be learning something right now, there are other things you can learn from on the internet. I'm as shocked as you are. Ultimately, I'd really like to do an interior on this as well, so it does have some elements of an actual camper. I fear though that because of the way I've built the skeleton structure, I haven't left myself much space to do that. Although, maybe there is. I think we could probably make it work pretty well. Uh, maybe we'll add some cabinetry to the inside or something. Um, some of you suggested it should still be a toy hauler slash camper. I think we can probably make that work too. Um, there's lots of potential and lots of possibility and I'm still really getting started on this. There will be some more advanced styrene elements going into this build. Uh, I will try my best to film some of those elements so you can see things as they happen. One thing I almost forgot about. Josh has actually impressed upon me the idea of using send cut send. And I'm really excited about this. It's my first time doing this, but I designed up my own grill for the ultimate hauler or the ultimate RC RV as we're calling it now. This was a, this was a pretty simple design, but something that I mocked up and then printed to confirm that it was gonna work on the grill. And as luck would have it, it 100% does. It's almost exactly the same actually, but I sent the DXF to send cut send for this grill i'm going to be making it up in aluminum one mil aluminum to make up the minimum on send cut send i actually had five of these made up uh, so we'll be giving some of these away uh, which i'm pretty excited about and if you've got an ultimate hauler uh, throw a comment down below and i will have rebecca choose a few of you at random and we'll get these sent out to you so you can have one for your ultimate hauler i think it's going to look a lot better than the sticker especially in uh uh, brushed aluminum because I'm gonna finish them myself a little bit Give them a little bit of a look. I think it's gonna really kind of set off the front of this truck much better than a flat decal ever could uh, So send cut send It's an actual thing Okay, let's try to get this off the bench because there are other things that happened this week if you are enjoying this series, the weekly version of What's on the Bench, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates every time there's a new video of What's on the Bench. It's really the best way for me to know that you're following along and watching and enjoying this content. So please hit that like button. I've literally got nowhere to put this. Now, you've probably seen this truck a few times before, not only on What's on the Bench, but on uh, countless other shows. And in fact, there's also been a couple of videos of it just doing running stuff from when I owned it originally. But this is my old Range Rover Classic. Uh, this is not the styrene body. This is a resin cast body that was only available for a short time. I think they made five of them and they were from Spain originally. My friend Wrencher did all of the metal work that you can see, and then underneath is a very old SCX-10-1 with some very old gear under it. Let me take the body off. Uh, there's a full interior as well, which is pretty cool, and nicely detailed up by me, as you can see, all kinds of fun stuff going on in there. But the main thing here is that this is a super old chassis. 
uh, utilizing some parts that aren't really available much anymore, uh, including this GCM front motor mount. It's not a thing because we don't need it anymore. This is a super old chassis rocking some very old axles and it's seen better days. Uh, it's been owned by a number of people after me, uh, but now I have it back and uh, I think it's time for a rebuild. So what'll end up happening is um, I'm going to start with an entirely new SEX-10 II chassis. I've got some different axles I'm going to put under it, but I am going to save all of this old timey running gear. It's going to be sort of a rebuild, but using OEM style parts. This will be a series unto itself, so you will not see this on what's on the bench. Although, maybe you will. I mean, you're seeing it right now. Uh, but it's going to get a complete revamp. Uh, and, uh, oh man, those rear shocks are so stiff. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, but yes, I'm really looking forward to rebuilding this. It's definitely seen better days. And uh, it could use a bit of a refresh because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, now my question to you, do we stick with the original paint or do we strip it all down and start over again? Post a comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And like I said earlier, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video. Like something like this, a project unto itself. Uh, so there you go. That's what's happening on the bench this week. Uh, it's really been mostly about focusing on that ultimate RC RV and getting that project wrapped up as quickly as possible. There will be some, oh my gosh, styrene dust everywhere. Uh, there will be some new products coming soon, so I hope you'll stay tuned for that as well. Uh, in the meantime, I invite you to go back and watch some of this old Range Rover classic stuff as it lumbers around in the dirt. I also ran this as a comp truck in class two, no less. It shows you how little I know about comping. <laughs> That's going to do it for this week, episode three of What's on the Bench. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next week. <laughs>